Hello friends, hi, how are we today? I hope we are all doing well. I am doing fantastic. I am here uh, this week with a kit that was gifted to me by my friend Daniela. Uh, and it is from Simply a Mess. Unfortunately, Simply a Mess is a Canadian shop that is no longer open. So uh, this kit is not available and it is in a very old format and it's definitely um, not, um, you know, not sort of in current planning vogue. Um, this kit did have bottom washi that came with it, as you could see, but honestly, I really didn't like it. I don't love that particular geometric pattern, so I decided to go with my own. Um, these are the Recollections brands, um, the grid washi that was like super popular, I think two years ago, but I don't know if it's still popular or not. Um, I definitely bought it in the last 18 months or so. I really like it, especially for my Bujo, so you know, it works for me. Um, that top washi is a little bit more beige actually. Um, but I like the greeny undertones. It kind of matches all the muted greens in the kit. Uh, and the bottom one, you can't really tell, but actually the, the grid, uh, is pink. So I don't know. I just really liked it. I feel like it matched with the kit very well. And now that I'm seeing it down on the paper, it's like, it's interesting. Would I do it again? No but you know it works it works um but definitely you can tell this is an old kit you will see when i get into the day by day particularly with the boxes it like um quarter or half boxes out everything i felt this was very hard to navigate and um that's just how i felt uh i put the scene of the windows with the books on a thursday friday those are my typical quiet days just because it's me and my little guy home my husband's at work and my kid is at daycare um although that didn't happen this week um you are going to see just an absolute i want to say well it wasn't like a cluster of a week but like it was not the easiest week. So this week in Canadian history, um, I know uh, definitely on the TikTok that I'm on, it's like all these Americans being like, oh my God, Canada, get your shit together. Um, like, like, what are you doing about these fires and stuff? But like, I live just east of Toronto and I honestly have never, not once in my life had to deal with a smoke warning at all, ever. And uh, we had excuse me, uh, nearly a week of smoke warnings. And this was like, uh, but I marked the worst days of them. It was like noticeable. You couldn't go outside. You couldn't play. Like you couldn't do anything, um, until later on in the week. So it was, it was just like a really big week. Um, and definitely I felt like it was hard. My kiddo wasn't allowed outside at school, um, because if there's like weather advisories, they keep the kids inside or daycare rather, I should say. Um, it, it was just, it was a big week. My littlest one got sick. So I think we will get into it. Um, you just see that I do the sidebar here. I didn't fill it in for some reason. If you want to see the filmed, filled in one, just cause you're nosy. Cause I definitely am that person. Um, feel free to check out my Instagram. You can find me at Canada planner girl. Um, so I just did three boxes here for AM watering and then both of the boys, um, bath. And then, um, and then I put down my meals. Honestly, I struggled. I don't understand. I guess it's because this was meant for the week before and I was supposed to use the farm kit from the week before, which, um, I will link up in the doobly-doo up above. Um, but essentially, I had a really cute kit picked out for this week and I just screwed up my kit alignment. I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but I guess it really threw me off when I was filming this. Um, and I didn't have any date covers, which was fine. I don't need them. As I said, there's a little bit more white space at the top than I'm used to here. So I just used that weekend banner, which as you guys know, I rarely, rarely ever do. Uh, I've slowed this down a little bit, so it's only at 1.5 the speed instead of two times the speed, but we'll get into the day by the day. So the first thing that I had to do on Monday was send a text to my dad at 6.30 in the morning, making sure that he was awake. He had a really, really big appointment that he needed to get to, and he's still suffering um, at this point with some cognitive issues um, post being home from the hospital. So it, it was a big deal. That's fine. Um, oh, no, wait, this was his surgery day. 
yeah, so this is the day that he had surgery. So big deal. Uh, and then that morning, uh, we had our in windows installed and that was eight 30 until 10 45. It was really quick. Like they were ugh, just panorama windows and doors. If you're in Ontario, cannot highly recommend them enough. Uh, so I used a squish for that. Uh, and then I marked that I went for an 8.38 kilometer walk. Uh, I guess that 0.38 doesn't matter to anyone else, but it matters to me. <laughs> uh, next up I did laundry and I used, um, an Olivia from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. Then my littlest was seven months. So I definitely marked that. Uh, he is about, we're like, a week away from him being 10 months old. So I am very behind in my plans, but also I can't believe he's 10 months old. My little, my heart is breaking. He's not so little anymore. Uh, then my husband and I just got to spend a little bit of time together, which was really nice. And then that evening we had family playtime. So I used an Olivia for that as well. And then I read Fourth Wing, which I think I raved about before, but if you have not read this book, you absolutely need to go and read this book. Like out of this world phenomenal out of this world phenomenal like stinking amazing the next morning usual daycare drop off um i used an emoji and then the script is from sweetie sticker co and underneath that i used squish from fox and cactus uh just to mark that i did groceries i love squish carrying all the bags like one load absolutely that is me in a nutshell uh, unfortunately, when you feed a family of four and you have two boys and they eat food, uh, it is not one load appropriate anymore. <laughs> After that, um, again, I was really, really struggling with these boxes. Like these, uh, quarter boxes, third boxes were gigantic. They're like the size of some half boxes. So definitely an older format. Uh, and I really didn't know how to mark the smoke advisory because that's not something that I have a sticker for. So I just, uh, use the crazy weather, uh, emoji from the coffee monsters co. And then I used a, uh, paper and milk Maru. Uh, I did baking. I baked some banana bread. Uh, and then you're going to see me like really blow this and not do this well at all. But essentially I mopped my main floor, my basement, and I also Swiffered as well. Um, and then I used a, a squish also named squish, um, from a shop that is no longer open to mark, uh, that I had to fold laundry and I actually had to fold laundry. So if I noted that I had to fold laundry, um, instead of just like doing laundry, it means there was a, a metric butt ton of laundry to do. And that is absolutely the scientific term. Uh, I used a S Olivia to mark that I got happy mail. Uh, I believe I got, yeah, this is the day that I got my customs from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. Uh, and then I had to add fertilizer to all of my fruits and veg. So I did that. And then after that, uh, my husband and I started Ted Lasso season three, and it was absolutely freaking phenomenal. I cried like I full blown cried. It was <sighs> that show stole my heart. And I'm really glad about it. Uh, anyway, uh, the next morning, uh, I am moving on. I promise I'll catch up the next morning. I had swim sign up and I don't know for any of the other parents out there, if you all experience this. So please do let me know in the comments down below. Um, does anyone else have like very severe anxiety about swim sign up? Like, correct me if I'm wrong. When I was a kid, like I remember my mom being on the phone at five or actually having to go to the rec center to sign us up for anything. Like it was never and like waiting in line for hours. It was never anything online, but now everything is online. That's the only way that you can really sign up for these programs. And like, I, this was not a successful sign up for me. I only got my little guy, my baby signed up for his like baby classes, but because I had to click on which kid the class was for, um, I couldn't, I did not get there in time for my big guy. So I actually just did the next round of big guy signups and yeah, so that one is pretty fantastic. Um, and then, sorry guys, there was a spider on my foot. I definitely didn't freak out. I'm definitely not having a panic attack. Um, okay. So then after swim signups, uh, I was like to de-stress, I went for a walk, but it was, um, 
another continued smoke advisory day, which I will mark with a paper and milk. This is fine, Maru, um, which is even funnier when you know it's Maru the marshmallow and it's on fire. So it's turning into like a roasted marshmallow. Anyway, um, so I just noted that I went for the walk. I only went for 3.75 kilometers. It was like my it hurt to breathe at this point. Uh, after that, I used another paper and milk maru just to note that I read fourth wing. If you see that I mark that, if, I, if you see marking, I read every single day. If I am marking reading, it means that I have spent a good chunk of time reading. And fourth wing was absolutely worth it. Every every late night, whatever, it was absolutely freaking worth it. Next up, I used Fox and Pip. Uh, just the family snuggles. I probably could have used an icon, but I think that it's cute enough by itself. Um, in hindsight, I should have put that on like a decorative thing or like a box or whatever, but it doesn't matter. Then I used a Prairie Planner game remote to note that I watched my husband gaming that night. Um, so yeah, I've been doing a little bit more. Um, and then I had a really hard day with my kiddo. It was, he was teething really badly. This marks like I kid you not, two months of solid teething. And then a Sweet Tea Sticker Co. filming um, reel with the film script from her shop. Then we moved on to Thursday. And on Thursday, I just did another daycare drop-off with the emojis. It's literally the drop-off emoji. I think I'm finally figuring out how to size that. So her medium-sized emojis don't fit. Her large ones definitely don't fit um, if I'm using the font from the Sweet Tea Sticker Co. But if I use her smallest ones, they, they all fit, which is great. Uh, I used a Coffee Monsters Co. Um, YouTube uh, little icon just because I already had some color in there and I was like, okay, I can do that. And I'm trying to use up stickers that I have. Just to note that my haul video went live on this day, uh, June the 8th. Maybe I'll even get fancy and I'll link the haul. <laughs> maybe if I can figure out how to do that. Uh, and then I... I don't know why I didn't pull an icon for this, but I mean, this whole, as I said, this entire plan with me was like a cluster from the start to the finish. It was so silly. So silly. It was just a silly goose of a plan with me. Anyway, uh, then I edited and uploaded a plan, plan with me. And then I used a mom, a tired mom sticker just to note another hard day with my kiddo. And it was like, <sighs> It gets better. It does get better. I was looking at this time in my planner from a couple of years ago with my, my big kid now. And like, it gets better. It just, it takes a while to get better. Then, um, my big kid and I had quiet reading time together. And I had a long call with my dad, um, that evening. And I used choking to death on my own air there. Uh, I just used a fox and cactus phone. I used a fox and pipped um, soccer kid and then an Olivia just to note that soccer had been rescheduled due to the air quality that night. On Friday, uh, I used the Teddy Plans Co. Uh, custom to mark that my big guy was home from daycare. I, I think he was like on the verge of being sick and I was like, let's just keep him home. He's not allowed to go outside and play or do anything like that at daycare anyway because of the weather advisory. Let's just keep him home. Uh, and a paper and milk Maru, uh, to note laundry, uh, the sweet tea sticker coat. Uh, we had no naps for my baby this day. That was a toughie for me. Uh, so we walked to Dollarama first and we bought some craft supplies. That afternoon, I took the boys on a longer walk. And by longer, I mean, like, I'm taking my littlest for like eight point five kilometer walks in the stroller with my with my big kid we went for like a kilometer and a half and that's a big walk for a one or a three three and a half year old then we went to the fun park and you wouldn't know that we went on a huge walk with my big kid because he just was at the park I think we were there for like an hour an hour or two it was a good walk and a good playtime it was a great session outside and then that afternoon um my big kid and I spent a lot of time doing drawing and chalk art outside on Saturday uh we had a play date with a bunch of our friends and they actually ended up staying for lunch so I used um a unicorn from Fox and Cactus to note that I ordered pizza because that is the saving grace for everybody then um that afternoon I had snuggles with my big kid while my little guy napped which was like aces this is when we really started having like 
our good one-on-one -on -one mummy and and big kid snuggles together that was a big deal for me uh then i used another icon from the coffee monsters co emo uh coffee monsters co just to note that my plan with me went live and then well I was trying to get my littlest down for a nap. My big kid uh, figured out how to use FaceTime. He, he's three. He's three. And he just figured out how to use FaceTime. And he called my mom. So his Gigi. And oh my gosh. They just had, they had a riot apparently talking for like 10 minutes before I figured out what was going on in the other room. Uh, I got a new custom from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. Just with the name of my kid and sick. Uh, and I, I was struggling with how to you know, mark this. So I just used a tantruming kid just to mark. He was, he was really miserable. Then we went to a friend's third birthday party that night. And my husband and I had just a lovely evening together after that. Just really quiet. The boys went to bed nice and early. It was good. The next morning, uh, it was kind of gloomy, I think. So my boys and I spent a little bit of time reading together. Normally we do like artwork or we play immediately when we get up. It was just nice to do reading. And I used another paper and milk maru to note uh, that I did laundry. And I wrote in there, it feels like I'm doing laundry a lot because it sure does. Uh, and if I don't write funny things like that, I'll just cry because I got my water bill and absolutely we're doing laundry more than we did before. Uh, my, gr uh, my in-laws came over to visit with the kiddos, which was a real big help. And then, uh, that afternoon, my, uh, big kid and I had a nap together while my little kid napped. We just didn't intend to nap, but we did. It, it was great. It was fantastic. And then my little kid was sick. So I just noted that again. And I noted that he was also up late coughing most of the night. And then I pre-ordered the book Iron Flame. So that was everything. I really hope you enjoyed this plan with me. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Toodles.